for helping me to put out the nativity set today. Hi, Dee, <laughs> and, and you're welcome. You know, Dee, I really like your nativity set. Yeah, because look, I can see the little kids peeking out from their costumes. You know, <laughs> I made this in ceramic class a long, long time ago. Yeah, you know, Dee, it reminds me of our Christmas pageant. Oh, oh, and, and, and I brought a cool story about Mary. You know, Jesus' mom? Uh-huh. Yeah, that Grandpa and I, we read it last night in my Growing in God's Love Bible. Wow. And, and Dee, I think I would like to be the angel Gabriel in our next pageant. Gabriel? Really? Yeah, yeah. Come on, Dee. We can read this story based on the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. And, and Dee, you start, and I know my lines. Okay. <laughs> Has someone told you something you didn't understand? Yeah, yeah. Did you feel confused? Yeah. This happened to a woman named Mary. Mary and Joseph lived in the village of Nazareth. They would soon be married. One day, the angel Gabriel showed up at Mary's house. He said, Mary, you should be very happy. God has chosen you for something very special. God is with you. An angel had never come to her house before. Mary was surprised. The angel said, It's okay. God sent me with a message for you. You will have a baby boy. You will name him Jesus. He will be king one day. He will sit on David's throne and his realm will never end. Now, Mary was surprised and confused. How could this happen, she asked. Joseph and I aren't ready to have children yet. This baby is a gift from God, Gabriel said. The Holy Spirit will come to you. Your baby will be very special. People will call him God's son. And, and listen, Mary, your cousin Elizabeth will also have a baby, even though she's very old. God can do anything. Mary thought about what the angel said. God was with her. She didn't feel so confused or surprised anymore. She said to the angel, I will do what God asked me to do. Then Gabriel, the messenger from God, left Mary. She had a lot to think about. Amen. <laughs> well, Dee, what do you think? I think I should start looking to find an angel costume. <laughs> and Mary, what word would you use to describe Mary? Hmm. Well, you know, the Grandpa and I talked about how brave she was to say yes to God. Wow. Yeah, in her time, you know, people could have been pretty mean to her. Mm -hmm. Particularly if Joseph didn't understand that she said yes to God mm -hmm. and an angel. Yeah. But guess what, Dee? What? Yeah, yeah. Grandpa says... That in the Gospel of Matthew, Gabriel talks to Joseph. You talked about that. Yeah, I, I, I haven't practiced that reading yet. Oh, oh, where, where's Joseph? Oh, see, oh, see, where I, is? I have Joseph. Oh, you got I him. Have okay, Joseph. All right. And what else? You, what I who? have the angel. An angel. Yeah, that's me. Oh, oh, I'll and, put him right there. Okay. Yeah, and and, and D. Um, yeah, what? What? D, 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 D. Who are you looking for? The the baby Jesus. He he's usually the last one I pack. He's usually the first.
just went out of the box. But D, D, wait, wait, the baby isn't born yet. Grandpa said it's still Advent, and Pastor Bill has only lit two candles on the Advent wreath, hope and peace. I know, Andy, and I know he hasn't been born yet, but I don't even begin to know where to look if he's not in this box. I mean, oh my goodness, I, I don't remember doing anything different with him. Dee, Dee, wait, 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 wait. Take a deep breath, Dee. Come on. One more. Dee. It's what my mom tells Grandpa to do when he can't remember something. I'm okay, Andy. I don't know. Maybe I should try calling 7162. D, what the heck is 7162? D, that's not even a phone number. Who? D, should I call my mom to come and get me? No. Just no, Andy. It's okay. Okay. In 1943, 7162 was a phone number. And a few years ago, I found this book. It's called If You're Missing Baby Jesus. It was a true story based on a childhood memory of a woman named Jean Geitzen. And 7162 was their phone number. The unconfused. Well, it, it was Christmas in 1943, and the girl's mom bought a nativity set at the local Five and Dime store. Five and Dime store? Well, would that be like the dollar store today? Well, the nativity cost $3.99. Okay. But when they unpacked the box, they found that there were two baby Jesus figures. Wow! Mm -hmm. Two baby Jesuses? <laughs> yep. And the mom was convinced that one of the nativity sets left in the store would be missing a baby Jesus figure and sent the brother down to the store to tell the store manager that he could post a sign saying, If you're missing baby Jesus, call 7162. She posted their phone number in a store? Yeah, she did. And mom waited all week for someone to call, but no one did. And finally, it was a cold Christmas Eve, and mom was disappointed that the extra baby Jesus was still in the nativity. So she sent dad and the kids down to the five and dime store to see if there were any sets left. And they were all gone, weren't they? Yeah, so someone would be calling. Well, when Dad and the kids got home, the yeah. extra Jesus figure was gone. Wow. And Mom was nowhere to be seen. Wow. They thought she must have gotten the call yeah. and took the figurine to deliver it. The kids got busy stringing popcorn, getting ready for the rest of the night, and then the phone rang. But they had found a home for Jesus, hadn't they, Dee? Well, it was Mom on the phone with instructions for Dad to bring the kids some blankets, a box of cookies and milk, and come to 205 Chestnut Street, about eight blocks away. And, and it was really, really cold. Maybe even snowing a little too, right? It was. And... At 205 Chestnut Street, Mom had found a young mother with five children. <gasps> the house had no heat and no Christmas tree and no gifts. It seemed that the father had walked out, leaving the family with no money. Oh. And the furnace had stopped working a little earlier in the day and the young mother was quite distraught. But, 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 did she buy the set that was missing the baby? No, no, she didn't. But she had been in the five and dime and saw the sign. 
And when the heat went out, she kept remembering the phone number 7162. She remembered that the sign said, if you were missing baby Jesus, you could call. She said she was sure whoever would leave that sign would be a good Christian person. So she called and she told mom she wasn't missing baby Jesus, but she sure was missing heat. She sure called the right number, didn't she, Dee? Oh boy, she did. The dad was able to fix the furnace. Mom called a couple of other neighbors and soon there was a Christmas tree and some food and some presents and some gifts. It was a very memorable Christmas Eve. So, so Dee, no one ever called looking for the missing baby Jesus? No, no, they didn't, Andy. The Lord works in mysterious ways sometimes. And oh, I just wish he would help me find this figure. I, I don't think I can find another one or make another one. Oh, Dee, Dee, let's pray. Okay. Okay. Dear God, Thank you for all the ways you help us and, and bless us. And God, please help Dee find her baby Jesus figure and help all of us remember that, that a figure can be misplaced. But God, you are never missing. You are always with us. Oh, oh, and God, bless your mom. Mary, for saying yes to God. Bless our families and friends and pets. Amen. Amen. Let's sing the hymn that we sang last week. Okay. Hope is a star that shines in the night, leading us on till the morning is bright. When God is a child, there's joy in our song. The last shall be first, the weak shall be strong, and none shall be afraid. God bless you. God bless you, Dee.